this throw I'm about to show, uh, it's a hybrid throw, right guys? And uh, there's really kind of no name. I will call it legless inverted fireman scary for the lack of better description. Uh, but uh, as I dissect it a little bit further, you, you'll see it's not true fireman scary, but we'll call it that for the sake of giving it a name, okay? So, uh, and real quick, I would like to address uh, some uh, nomenclature things, okay? Often, when uh, people grab here like this, so this is a conventional grip, right? Sleeve and opposable uh, lapel, conventional grip in judo, right? I it in sambo as well. And this one often referred to as a cross grip. I call it, me personally, and not just me, a lot of other people, unilateral, right? So if I split mic in half, it's going to be on one side, unilateral. And as a matter of fact, this grip is kind of like tone one, only it covers larger circumference, right? Instead of going here, going over his back, that's what we call cross grip in Russian, kasoi uh, cross grip or uh, oblique grip, okay? So I just want you to understand that in my book, in my system of naming, this is unilateral, all right? So I got the unilateral grip, and it's a great grip. Uh, uh, a lot of rows become much easier with this grip, such as Morote Seonagi, Tayo Toshi, right? and so forth and so on. And the uh, majority of attacks are done spinning this way, and that's exactly what I'm going to uh, do to disguise my true intent. And usually, in, in a grip fight, I want to control my song, because if it's here, my first order of business is going to be popping his arm. And just so you know, it's not about grip break in the DVD, but I'll uh, do it real quick. If Mike grabs me, if I pull like this, often guys are so strong, you, you cannot pop this grip. So what I would do, I will step back. It doesn't matter which leg, depends on what I'm about to do further. You can step with your left leg or right leg and I want to pop it suddenly. Or another way, I can grab my lapel and as I secure this uh, arm in place, I'll rip it off. Alright? So what I'm saying, this grip should not be present, otherwise my throw is not going to work. Uh, I like to grab just like this, guys, right? To here, does the grab. Uh, Variety of sleeve grips you can do in, uh, in, in Sambo. In Sambo, just like in Judo or Jiu-Jitsu across the border, you cannot grab inside the sleeve. You can grab your own, but not his. So uh, you can go uh, like this, a pocket or cat's paw style. You can grab a uh, pistol grip and you can grip just a regular like bottomless sleeve grip. That's what I'm going to be using for this particular throw. So I'm here and I'm playing and what I want to do, I'm going to turn my body and open him up a little bit. Most likely, I'm not wrestling, you know, a dumbbell or some kind of piece of weight. I'm wrestling a human being. I think he will give me uh, a, a good reaction, an intelligent reaction. So if I go here without him do not doing anything, I'll apply his back step, right? And I can finish my throw or Tadatoshi or whatever the case might be. So most likely he will stop bringing his elbow back. I need the space for any forward going throw. So normally he'll bring his elbow back in and that's exactly what I'm banking on. So let's look at it, right? Open up, as he goes down, I help him and I go past. And simultaneously, I'm applying a few things. I'm gonna do it slow and then fast. I'm going reverse duck under, so right guys? This is conventional, normal duck under, and this is reverse duck under. I'm also dropping on both knees simultaneously. And the thing is, I wanna end up in, uh, very deep towards my not far away and i want to be perpendicular if i kind of over rotate it becomes reverse ipponsionagi right but we're doing kataguruma okay so fake drive and i'm trailing this move is trailing me behind him perpendicular right here and then i pull and finish so you see guys it's kind of like fireman scary so this is conventional fireman scary this is inverted or reverse fireman scary, and plus I do it without the legs. So actually, uh, if you do judo, that's your legal option. However, in fireman scary, somebody rolls right over your traps and neck. But in my case, Mike rolls over this part of my back. It's a bit of a Sionagi feel, but it's not Sionagi. That's why I'm saying it's a, a hybrid throw. Call it whatever. Call it Duda. I don't care. But if you do it successfully, that's how you do it. Open up, fake, and you see how I maintain the sleeve, and I immediately stepped up with a second leg so I can cut his head off and start working the arm blocks or whatever. So what I'm saying, don't be happy with a throw only, especially in jiu-jitsu. Like in sambo, that would be okay, but in reality, just like my coach told me, Vlad, you never stop wrestling, meaning always keep going, no matter whether you're losing or winning, okay? Don't ever relax, no matter where in the match you are. One more time, let's look from this direction. 
open drive trail and throw. One more time, a little bit faster. Something like that. All right, guys, easy, not a huge elevation, not a suplex, just be sneaky like an old man is and do this throw. I hope you like it.